InsideJobHealing.com for the week of August 24th. A lot going on with politics, with the Democrats and Republicans, which is causing a lot of dis divisive energy. I don't know if you watched that video where, you know, some Democrats got into a fight with a little seven-year-old kid for supporting Trump. So it's kind of crazy out there. There's a lot of divisive energy, which lends itself to feeling... You know, to us be feeling really isolated alone because we've been in this COVID soup for over six months now, right? So a lot of us are feeling like we're over Zoom and, you know, we want that community, want that connection. So I want to assure you that the, um, you know, that the trance of separation is just that. It's, it's a trance. We are all one. If you look at um, the Big Bang Theory, we all started out as, as one little particle and then expanded in the universe. So even though it feels like we're separate, we're not, we're all together. Um, so right now we're also in the first quarter of the moon. We just had the new moon in Leo last week. Um, so there is still those fiery energies. Aries is still, you know, in, um, uh, Mars is still in Aries in its home planet until January. So you have access to these fiery energies. So you might feel like yourself like more reactive if someone cuts you off in traffic or something like that. So just be a witness to that, observe that. Don't judge yourself, but try not to react even though it's really hard to do um, with all that Aries energy. And also just like feeling that sense of, you know, feeling impulsive like yesterday morning, I was like, you know what? I really need to connect with mother earth and she is our greatest healer. Um, and so I just got in the car and took a road trip and it was like a blissful 24 hours where I really connected with nature. I used a technique that I use with my clients and online in my transformational um, alchemical program, Lifestyle Reset and Thrive, to help you heal yourself. Because I really do feel, and I don't know if you've heard this before, but I feel like, you know, uh, the days of us going to a massage therapist, which I had, which is beautiful, but the days to us going to a therapist or a massage therapist or a healer, I feel like those are nice and, and definitely we act as a catalyst for our clients. But I also think it's really important for us to take responsibility for our own healing journey. And that's why I love to empower my people and the tribe in teaching them techniques for them to be able to heal themselves. Because again, we are so used to being spoon fed and told what to think and what to do. Um, we're really reaching this age of Aquarius and this age of empowerment where it's time for you to take your healing journey in your own hands. And I'm not saying don't come see a healer like myself. In fact, I am seeing clients two or three weeks out. So if you would like that catalyst and accelerated growth, definitely. But Mother Earth is your healer, right? Um, you know, you are capable of healing yourself with Epsom salt baths and different techniques that I teach my clients. You are fully capable of healing yourself during yoga class. I want to give a huge shout out to um, to the best yoga, one of the best yoga teachers, um, Megan Hanna. She held such beautiful space for me that I was able to heal something, the stagnant energy that was in my lower left back for many, many weeks. And she was the catalyst to heal me. So you can heal yourself in a hot infrared yoga class. I mean, so there are so many ways and so many tools to heal yourself. It's just, it's not just you going to a therapist or, um, you know, a healer. You can do that for yourself. And I feel like it's time for us to really step into that and start making the time for that self-care. Like the last 24 hours have been the most blissful 24 hours because I, you know, I really took care of myself and held space for myself. And so it's important for you to do that for yourself and take the time and not get stuck in this busy, busy, busy mode. In fact, this reminds me of a video I watched um, on this little tiny meme on Instagram where this very curvy uh, girl was just like literally running from place to place and the caption was busy running away from my problems. So this is the time for us not to run away from our problems and to really kind of heal what's ready to come up. And so this is what I was saying to you. So for me, it was a specific energy. So every time someone comes to see me, their body is ready to release an energy. And so I teach people how to be aware of that and be able to heal themselves when they're not here every two weeks. And so, but you need to be embodied. You need to be in your body and not in your head because most of us are in our head because it's too painful to be in the body because the body feels. And a lot of us wanna check out and numb ourselves through antidepressants and things like that. And this is not a judgment. It's just that if you're not in your body and you're not feeling in order to heal, how do you know what's coming up for healing and how do you know what's wrong, right? And so, you know, are you are you ready? Are you ready to face those uncomfortable things and, and be ready to process them? Because 
once upon a time, whether it's in this life or another, you had something happen and you didn't process it and you stuffed it down in your body and your cells. Um, and that stays in your an energetic blueprint, even if you're born, born into another body. And so we need to feel to heal. There is no running way. The only way is through. And again, I can speak to that because as much as I work on you guys part time to heal you, I'm working on healing myself full time and the collective and my ancestors. And that's what you'll notice is the more and more that you heal yourself. If you're a light seed, you know, if you're a star seed or a light worker, or if you're a healer, you're going to notice that the more and more that you heal yourself, that you're going to have the bandwidth to be able to heal your ancestors and then ultimately the collective, right? So what has been going on with the collective besides the divisive energies, besides feeling this tremendous amount of you know, loneliness and separation, and we need to clear that in order to really step into our unity. But we're also experiencing another round of social injustice and like rebellious energy. Um, just recently with what's going on with Jacob Blake, he was shot eight times in Wisconsin. Crazy, again, happens to be um, a brother, a man of color. And so again, that's creating some more civil unrest. I feel like we're just done are the days we're being silenced, done are the days where we're just like, okay, you know, allowing ourselves to be controlled, allowing ourselves to be enslaved in whatever way, even animals on this planet are enslaved and mistreated. Um, so I feel like this, this theme of oppression and slavery has been ongoing and control, right? And, and even now they were calling like the QAnon group a terrorist group. And so anybody who is a conspiracy theory or questions, Cabal or questions the one percent is now also being targeted, um, you know, for potential imprisonment. So I feel like you know, even though we live in the land of the free, some people don't feel that way. They still feel censored and oppressed. I mean, talk about censorship. I know that uh, Lada Ducheva a few months ago did this whole video about how with uh, Gemini being in Rahu or the North Node of the Moon, we just switched to Gemini being in the North node and Sagittarius being the south node as a collective, she said that there's going to be all these different types of, you know, social media platforms coming out and a lot of spiritual people, a lot of people that are nonconformists are starting to change over to a couple of different platforms which are MeWe, one word, or Parlor with an E. And so a lot of people are just kind of like inviting their Facebook audience or whatnot or their YouTube audience to change over there because that way they're not censored and feel like they can really speak their truth in those kind of platforms. So hopefully they, they do, you know, that they don't censor those platforms as well. And then you have obviously like some, you know, some people going on the Patreon community, a lot of spiritual um, peeps that have a lot of followers like I've mentioned Laura Eisenhower from Dark to Light and also La Lori Ladd is on, on Patreon as well. So anyway, so you have a bunch of different options. If you're somebody who, you know, you want, you want to hear the news, you want to go down the rabbit hole, you want to do your own research, and you don't want to be censored by Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, you have some options to explore. Um, definitely, you know, speaking of options to explore, I've noticed that there's been like an explosion with plant medicine, and I have clients who have dabbled in that and listen like I'm no stranger to drugs I'm, I'm definitely I don't have an addictive personality I'm really really lucky so I'm one who can try anything and I, I don't you don't get addicted to it so I'm very fortunate in that I don't like to use a crutch because I feel like I've been able to reach these ecstatic quantum physics states where I've seen everything as energy everything as waves and particles and that we're not solid and I've seen all these like magical amazing things and experienced divine love um, in Sedona through just pure meditation having all my chakras cleared right which is what I help you guys with and so I really truly believe that you can reach those very psychedelic DMT like states naturally if you're willing to do the work but I feel like in our society we're so used to take that pill with big pharma right or here's a quick fix right let's treat the symptom not the root I'm a big fan of treating the root right and that's what I do and that's what my lifestyle reset and thrive alchemical program helps you transform from the inside out and gives you lifelong tools and it's not hard I make it super super easy but it's like we have to change our mindset right it's like it, you know it, instead of that quick fix and, and that's what I notice again this is not a judgment this is just a disclaimer but I notice that my clients or some other clients um, or some other people in the spiritual woke community have been going to you know um, ayahuasca and um, you know psilocybin and even doing frog uh, poison medicine like combo listen I have no problem with any of those I have tried them 
However, I do want to say they're a catalyst and it, it involves a lot of purging all at once. Um, if you're not open spiritually, you may not even understand or may not integrate with the lessons that have been learned. Whereas um, in my work, it's non-invasive. With all these methods, it's super invasive. You're literally purging from both ends. It's very uncomfortable and it's quite dangerous because some people, you know, some people could have reactions, some people could have seizures and, and people have died from ayahuasca. And so if you're interested in learning more, I mean, again, it's something to try if you're really desperate, if you have addictions, if you have PTSD, if you have something really, really like deep depression, nothing's helped as a last resort. Hey, listen, you're, you have free will, try whatever, but just know that there are consequences and there's also risks involved. I, I firmly believe that when we do drugs, it takes something away. There has to be a price that's paid and, and the body physically has to pay for it. So for those that are doing psilocybin journeys every week and throwing up and going on these crazy psychedelic experiences, that's great for them, but is this becoming an addiction? I know a lot of people with, for example, Rapa, which is like a type of tobacco, they become addicted to it. So again, my question is, do you want to use these different plant medicines as tools, as sacred tools, um, without getting addicted to them, without feeling like it's a crutch, without feeling like you need to do them every week, because it's not sustainable. And so what I offer is, being able to teach you tools where you can heal yourself, coming in here, me, you know, raising your frequency and really, um, you know, helping you in a non-invasive way, release any trauma or anything like that. Because ultimately that's what these tools do is they help us release what we've been hanging on to physically on a cellular level, you know, and just to kind of get rid of it, literally purge, right? Um, and so, so that's why a lot of people are, are being drawn to these things. So again, if you want to try it, that's up to you. Um, all I want to say is just, you know, just be careful and just know that it's a catalyst. It's not something that you do every week. It's not sustainable. Um, and yeah, you know, it's definitely an option that's becoming really popular with the Goop Lab. And also there's a documentary on Netflix if you're interested. It's called Unwell that talks about a lot of these holistic um, different trends that are going on. And they do have, um, they do have a episode about ayahuasca that I highly recommend because people with psychosis or schizophrenia or bipolar, it's, it's probably not a good thing for them to try. Okay, so what else? Um, so many things going on. I've been really, you know, I registered to vote, so I'm really excited. I did that online if you're interested. I would highly recommend that you do that by October 5th because I believe that's the deadline for the number third election if you're in the US. Um, you know, the Republicans chose Trump and the Democrats um, Joe, you know, chose Joe Biden, so things are really heating up politically so um, you know do your research and see what resonates again I've talked previously about how some people believe that Trump is a light worker so see if that resonates with you but ultimately um, something that when I was researching with I'm so blessed that I have the right to vote and all that good stuff but I was also re like researching um, people who are incarcerated and don't have the right to vote in incarceration or even are not made to give to be given the right to vote even in pretrial when they're in jail and not in prison um, especially if you've done a felony so if you you know if you're interested I would totally research that because I find it very interesting that in our society you know we're like oh they broke the social contract these are awful people I do believe in reincarnation so I'm like where's the rehabilitation are we gonna just lock these people up and throw the key um, so I really firmly believe that that we need to be doing some some thinking about change in our, um, you know, in our systems and, and, and how we're, you know, it's become this big company system where, you know, it's big business to lock people up. And it's interesting how a lot of these disenfranchised, um, you know, basically not allowing people to vote that have uh, committed a felony, uh, they came into play like in the 1860s and 70s when people were objecting to blacks voting. So I find that very interesting since 48% of people in jail are Latino or black. So just kind of some food for thought for the social justice movement and Black Lives Matter if you want to look into that as you um, as you decide whether or not you're going to exercise your right to vote. So there's just been so many topics that I've been thinking about, about consciousness, about expanding consciousness, about you realizing that you are definitely more powerful than you've ever believed. I know that COVID-19 is going on and it's, it's a timeline that we've co-created as a collective, but just remember you can create your own reality in the field of possibilities of quantum physics. So I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're making the best of this time and focusing on detail and getting organized with the sun being Virgo right now. Um, yeah, and I just, um, I wish you, I wish you an amazing week and I hope that you're doing your inner work and self care and taking good care of yourself and each other and building community. Love you guys. Reno with InsideJobHealing.com.